Welcome back. In the last class regarding fluid power engineering, we were studying very important critical components like pipes and hoses used to transfer medium from the source to the receiver. Then we use couplings, quick release couplings or quick acting couplings to connect these pipes to the destination points. And uh, of course, the main problem was contamination. We identified the different source of contamination and how to overcome that contamination. So different strategies we employed. Finally, we come to a very important point which was heat exchanger. Heat exchanger was used to increase the temperature level of the fluid so that the efficiency of the process goes up. Finally, now at the last and not the least, very important and integral part of any pressurized system is seals. So basically we are using seals to prevent leakages. So in today's lecture, I am going to give you a brief overview regarding the different types of seals used in fluid power engineering that is high pressure systems. So basically seals are required for preventing any leakages. Leakages occur within the system because of high pressure. So whenever there is high pressure and the sealing uh, is not properly affected, so it bursts and the pipe will burst and uh, leakage will start. So the main objective of any maintenance schedule in any hydraulic and pneumatic system is not only preventing contamination, it also it should prevent leakages. So, some of the topics which I am going to cover in today's class are seals, sealing materials, compatibility of seal with fluids. Now, the main objective of this class lecture is to prevent leakages. Leakages occurs knowingly, unknowingly, sometimes it is an accident. So, it results in the loss of the fluid and the efficiency of the system will drop. So, our main objective is to prevent leakage. To accomplish this objective number one, we need to apply different seals available, which are very effective for that situation. So, we are going to study different types of seals available for different scenarios. Also, we are going to study different types of seal materials available. So, we can use that seal material effectively and explore what are all the seal materials available which can be used while designing a hydraulic and pneumatic systems. So, all these three are very important for satisfactory functioning of the hydraulic and pneumatic system. So, what is a seal basically? As the name is, uh, itself says, seal means block, prevent, prevent what? Prevent leakage. So, basically it prevents leakage between static members as well as dynamic, dynamic members. So, also it blocks the intervention of dust and other foreign particles entering into the system unwarrantedly. The major function of the seal is to maintain the fluid level that is it should prevent loss of fluid and also it should maintain the pressure. So it should withstand the high pressure flowing exerted by the flowing fluid. Also the seal is related to maintenance aspect. So any maintenance program should include the operations which are done to restore the seal to prevent the seal. Uh, breakage or any other activities to prevent leakages. So, in broad a seal is a concept where we are going to prevent leakages. So, different strategies are available to prevent leakages. So, we have sealing method, uh, two interesting sealing methods are positive sealing and negative sealing. So, Positive sealing is different from negative sealing. 
how it is we will understand. But these two ceilings are quietly opposite in nature, antagonistic in nature, but they are very effective in particular situation. So, what is positive ceiling? A positive ceiling means completely sealing the system and preventing complete leakage. So, no leakage whatsoever. So, when you positively seal means it is completely sealed and no leakages whatsoever. So, it can be done externally or it can be done internally. So, positive sealing is preferred because there is no question of leakages. right? So, but it is difficult to maintain positive sealing throughout the system. Next, non-positive sealing. A non-positive sealing allows small amount of leakages intentionally for such purpose like lubrication. So, this is exactly opposite of positive sealing. Non-positive sealing permits a small amount of leakages in the form of lubricants. So, if you have an oil hole drilled so and uh, if you start pouring the oil, it starts dripping. So, it is intentionally we are allowing leakage, but that leakage is very important vital because it lubricates the rotating member. So, this is non-positive sealing and it is rarely occurring in uh, aerolic and pneumatic system, but still it is available where it is what uh, employed. So, positive sealing and non-positive sealing are available in any industries in where it involves high pressure fluid like oil or hair. So, both require this seals, this type of seals. Next, based on the relative motion exists between the two moving parts, we can further classify uh, into static sealing and dynamic sealing. Now, different types of seals are available based on positive or negative type. Now, the second level of classification is based on relative uh, motion between the two moving parts. One is static sealing and another one is dynamic sealing. So, what do you mean by static sealing? Static sealing is used to what uh, between static structures. So, there is no movement, it is a steel structure and there is no movement, we go for static stealing and if there is a movement between two parts or there is a relative motion, it becomes dynamic sealing. If you apply sealing, it becomes dynamic sealing. Now, what is the main difference between this static sealing as well as dynamic sealing? So, as the name itself suggests, in static sealing, there is no movement between two parts. So, they are still but still they are inside high pressure fluid is circulated. So, this high pressure fluid sometimes may leak through joints or pipe fittings. So, care should be taken in such a way that the points where there are abrupt changes like pipe fittings or any other members, sudden expansion, sudden contraction like these scenarios, there we, we need to have this type of static sealing where there is no movement, but the flow of fluid is internal to the system. So, this is a special type of sealing called as static sealing. And static sealing we can integrate with the previous type that is the positive sealing where no leakage is allowed. So, complete leakage proof the system is made. The second type is dynamic seal. The dynamic seal is applied to scenarios where we are having relative motion between two parts. So, if two parts are having relative motion, maybe it may be a rotating member or uh, like an hydraulic motor or a linear member like an hydraulic cylinder where there is reciprocating motion. So, we can have the dynamic seal to those type of dynamic members like actuators and motors. So, these type of dynamic seal is uh, permitted. So, we can integrate dynamic seal with the negative sealing where small amount of uh, what leakage is permitted at the ends for lubrication purpose because where uh, movement is there, friction will be there and where friction is there, 
wear and tear will be there. In order to avoid these phenomenons, complex phenomenons, better to have a non-positive type ceiling where we can have this type of uh, what dynamic seal. So, the third variation in different types of uh, seal family is according to the cross section. So, we now have different concepts like positive and negative seal, uh, static and dynamic seal. Now, the third important we are going to apply this seal based on the different configuration like whether it is the member is circular or non-circular. So, one such example is O rings as the name itself suggests that O shape rings made up of rubber elastomer right is called as O ring. So, O ring is what a very good example of static sealing wherein we prevent complete leakage. So, O ring is made up of rubber vulcanized rubber. So, if you uh, eat rubber with uh, phosphorus and uh, other vapor you get more stability in the rubber matrix and the rubber elastomer becomes more strong reinforced and uh, it becomes uh, suitable for this application. So, the o ring is a very good example for this type of static uh, uh, what static sealing where you prevent the leakage from a piston a, a, a dynamic st structure called piston. So, if you mount this on the piston what happens is leakage is prevented. So, basically if you cut open this o ring you can see circular cross section. So, o ring can be applied uh, as number as required you can have 1, 2, 3 maximum 4 to 5 o rings. If one o ring is worn out the system will continue to serve with the presence of the remaining surviving <coughs> o rings. So, o rings are of low cost and they can be used and replaced as and when they are worn out. So, basically these are suitable for dynamic operations. The second type of uh, ring available are V ring and U ring. So, they are extensions of o ring. So, V ring and U ring are very good examples or variations of o ring. <coughs> so, you can see the shape if the ring is V shape, if the ring is U shape right it is available. But the main thing here is we need to have the seats to accommodate U ring and o ring. We need to have V shape groove to accommodate V ring and o ring right. So, V ring and U ring seals are employed, they are compression type seals used virtually all types of recipro reciprocating motion. The main advantage over its previous variant that is the O ring is that they sit into a groove, a circular groove so for O ring and in this case you have a V shape groove or a U shape groove as shown here. So, this is the U shape groove you can see the U shape groove here, you can see the V shape groove here, they sit into this occupy the groove and this prevents, this groove prevents dislodging of the o ring. So, o ring is very good uh, mechanism where adherence takes place. So, because of this groove it is not easily coming out from the member. Again the material for this is rubber and elastomer a flexible member. But over a period of time, if it is exposed to temperature, the rubber, rubber loses its mechanical and thermal properties and it degenerates. So, the service life of this type of members need to be looked upon and we need to pre replace it periodically to avoid any leakages. This can be used for very good uh, application is this o ring can be used for hydraulic cylinders where it is reciprocating forward, the piston is reciprocating uh, from the top dead center to bottom dead center in case of vertical engine or from inner dead center to outer dead center in case of horizontal cylinder engine. 
T ring. So, T ring seal is a very good example for the one more variation where we have T shape cross section. So, we can see this T shape cross section. So, this uh, T shape cross section is beneficial for a situation where it is compactness is required. So, this, this is extensively used for sealing the gap between the piston and the wall of the cylinder. So, this speciality of the T ring is it is having more bearing surface. So, left side and right side it is having more bearing surface that acts as additional grippers onto the wall of the cylinder. It is made up of synthetic rubber molded in the shape of cross section T and reinforced by backup rings on the either side. So, this uh, T ring is a, a relatively rarely used member because uh, its cross section is very complex and the designer keep it only for special applications. Now, one more type of uh, sealing is piston cup packing. Nowadays, a concept has come which we call it as encapsulation. In encapsulation, what we do is instead of applying O-ring, V-ring or T-ring on a selected spots on the piston, we completely encapsulate the piston itself. We put a cover or a cap to the piston itself. So, this is called as what piston cup packing. So, what is the advantage of piston cup packing? So, the entire piston itself is enclosed or encapsulated in a packing material. So, what is happening here is uh, the entire metal to metal contact is prevented. The main objective of sealing is particularly in case of dynamic sealing, the main important thing is uh, there is a relative motion between the two members. So, there will be a metal to metal contact, wherever metal to metal contact their friction arises, if friction is there wear and tear will be there. So, maintenance issue will be high. So, in order to prevent that we encapsulate the piston which is a metallic component by some soft material like rubber. So, the two objective is served, one is smooth movement of the piston is ensured, second one is the material is encapsulated means the material is what the rubber material is uh, what prevents uh, metal to metal contact and uh, wear and tear. Now, this is a very new concept and it has become very popular and the service life of the piston has gone up. Now, after studying the different types of seals, now uh, studying the different types of seal sealing methods like positive and negative, relative and static and uh, dynamic type. Now, let us move on to another uh, variation which we call it as piston rings. The piston ring is also a concept of uh, providing a sealing this time only to selected regions. So, you can see that three grooves are here and all the three grooves are fitted with piston rings. The piston rings has a very good distinct advantage such that it is having a compression ring. So, it is having a compression ring. So, it is providing a full compression ring at salient points. So, one piston may be having 4 to 5 number of piston rings. So, it is as good as having elastic properties and it is flexible and when you apply to the piston ring, when you insert it to the piston ring, it holds the piston ring firmly because of its elasticity and it will never come out from its mean position. So, piston rings are available in the market. They are made up of superior quality elastomer 
and uh, vulcanized rubber. They are used for high temperature application like internal combustion engine where they are exposed all continuously to the exhaust or exhaust which is completely filled with carbon or the inlet charge that is filled with fuel and other compressed air in case of CI engine. So, piston rings are universally accepted and uh, they are very good in applications where dynamic structures are involved. So, piston rings are very good for uh, high temperature applications. After studying about different types of rings based on the cross section like O ring, V ring, U ring and T ring also different concepts, extended concepts, argumentations like piston packings and piston ring. Now, we need to study different types of sealing materials which can be used effectively for sealing the material. right? So, number one leather. This leather is one of the oldest sealing material. So, one of the oldest sealing material. This material is rugged and inexpensive. So, leather is naturally available and nowadays artificial leathers are also available, but there is a cap on its usage because uh, it is availability is limited due to legal constraints because most of the leathers are av available from animals and nowadays uh, it is uh, the law forbids the usage of pure leather. So, artificially created leathers can be used or recycled leather can be used. So, some of the uh, areas where leather can be used are normal temperature range and moderately high temperature range somewhere between high and cold 90 degree centigrade and below minus 50 degree centigrade. But the main problem with the leather is it cannot operate above the high temperature zone because it melts, it disintegrates and also cold temperature it becomes ineffective. Also one of the main problem with the sealing material which is the leather is that frequently it is subjected to alternate tension and compression. So, tight side and slack side are created owing to stretching of the leather. So, that leather loses its elasticity and it increases its length and this phenomenon is called as creep. So, once the length increases it does it, it stops conforming to the shape of the structure and it pops out during the further application. So, frequently you need, need to replace leather which is very costlier. Now, in order to improve the uh, materials one more which is better than leather is a commercially available polymer which we call it as Buna N. It is a commercially available uh, material which is having a very good temperature range from minus 45 degree to 110 degrees, 110 degree centigrade. It is a very good uh, uh, application. It is having a fine material during which it maintains all the sealing characteristics. So, it maintains all the seal, sealing characteristics and uh, it does not disintegrate if it is operated within the acceptable temperature range. But the main problem with this is again if you exceed the working temperature range it starts disintegrating. Having said that this is better than leather because its availability is more and also uh, the temperature range is also better and superior compared to leather. The, but the main problem with this material is manufacturing technology. So, it, uh, it reacts with uh, chemicals if it come across any if any and it disintegrates and uh, foul smell is generated. 
So, next type of material which is used today is as a sealant is silicon. Nowadays, silicon substances are becoming very popular as sealant. Silicon has excellent mechanical and thermal properties. They say that silicon is as good as steel and as light as aluminum because it is having uh, the Young's modulus nearly equal to that of steel that is 210 GPA and the uh, poison's ratio less than 0.7 and it is as lighter as aluminum because density is, is almost same as aluminum. And if you see the temperature range, it is very high minus 65 degree centigrade to 20, 232 degree centigrade which is much, much, much greater than the previous counterparts. So, the apply, applying silicon is also very easy because silicon is applied as a gel. So, silicon guns are available directly you can apply the silicon to region where there is two members available and if you just connect these two members by using silicon automatically what will happen is leakage is prevented. Also silicon having high temperature range prevents leakage at high temperature. So, this is used for both rotary as well as reciprocating application. One of the improvised version of uh, sealant is nephron. It is a low cost uh, sealant which is uh, cheaper than silicon because the main problem with silicon is its cost, it is very costly. So, nephron is uh, cheaper than the uh, silicon variant, but uh, the temperature lay range is limited 50 degrees to 120 degrees centigrade. Of course, it is better than leather because uh, it, it can be manufactured artificially and uh, it has a good uh, uh, application for some uh, light load uh, piston and cylinders as well as hydraulic rotor motors. But the main problem with this uh, nephron is that for an high temperature application it starts disintegrating. So, better to use this for low temperature or moderate temperature application. So, the next material is Viton. So, Viton as the name itself consists of 65 percent fluorine. So, fluorine is a very good material which can improve that high temperature parameters or temperature properties of any material. It can up work up to 240 degree centigrade and as low as 28 degree centigrade. So, the presence of fluorine will prevent the degradation or disintegration of the elastomer. So, that fluorine will prevent acts as a thermal barrier and it prevents disintegration, disintegration of the elastomer. But again the fluorine is injurious to health as a further if the temperature exceeds 240 degree centigrade, it disintegrates and the smell is created and if you inhale that smell, it results in health hazards. So, again fluorine is a big problem. So, this is application is very good if the temperature is less than 240 degree centigrade. Now, one more uh, polymer integrated with carbon is tetrafluoroethylene. So, this is a very good hydrocarbon which is used today of course, of low cost, but the beauty of this material is that the temperature range is up to 370 degree centigrade. So, 370 degree centigrade is I think so far the highest temperature a sealing material can withstand. So, this material is used for as a plastic sealant between both static as well as dynamic members. It is very tough, it is having an excellent anti leakaging characteristics and it is waxy in nature, it can be applied directly onto the surfaces where it requires uh, application. But this sealant the manufacturing cost is very high because it requires sintering and compacting. So, the main problem with this type of 
uh, hydrocarbon is that we need to prepare the mould, we need to pour the solution, the tetrafluoroerythrin solution, then compact it so that it becomes dense and then we have to put bake that inside the furnace which is called as sintering. After that, we can apply directly to the region where you want the leakage to be prevented. But this uh, before applying this, we need to uh, what clean the surface. So, this statement is common for all the sealant. There is a standard procedure for applying the sealant that is the surface should be cleaned and it should be neat free from dust and moisture, you can apply this chemical. Now, breakdown to temperature occurs only below 370 degree centigrade. So far, this is the best invention regarding the sealing material. After this, briefly explaining all the types of sealing materials, we need to know more about the what the sealant. So, for better experience, you can watch video, two videos on sealants, one related to static and another related to dynamic sealing and uh, you can uh, visualize how sealing plays a very important role in preventing the leakage. As an add-on to this lecture, I have taken few videos from YouTube channels for which I acknowledge the same. Thank you. From construction and material handling equipment to agricultural vehicles and machine tools, hydraulic systems are fundamental to the operation of each, however big or small. The principles of these systems are the same and sealing them is both critical and challenging. Pumps and motors use rotation to create fluid flow and generate pressure, which delivers hydraulic energy to the rest of the system. Radial oil seals located on the drive shaft keep fluid contained and Turcon glide rings on the piston have superior low friction characteristics, allowing for precise adjustment of swash plate angles. Valves must open successfully at their intended pressure. The dual seal is a multi-contact seal that is easily installed into the gland and provides excellent leakage and pressure control. Accumulators ensure separation of fluid and gas. Zircon Step Seal V and Zircon Glide Ring D deliver both leak tightness and low friction. Rotary manifolds require higher speeds and pressures. The unique Turcon Roto Glide Ring V provides a PV twice as high as other bidirectional seals and demonstrates 50% lower friction while extending service life. The drivetrain of a vehicle incorporates a number of fluid power systems in its transmission, gearboxes, and axles. While keeping hydraulic fluid in, combinations of seals must prevent ingress of external media. Oil leaks from a vehicle's engine are environmental hazards and can potentially cause engine failure. Reliable, long-lasting seals such as custom-molded gaskets and radial oil seals aid in these situations. Hydraulic cylinders are at the heart of most fluid power systems. Complex configurations that combine leading-edge seal designs in proven materials give optimum operation. Static seals keep fluid contained within the hydraulic system and prevent environmental ingress. Zircon Scraper DA24 has a unique lip design that provides optimum contact force for ultimate exclusion of external contaminants. Rod seals like Trelleborg's Buffer Seal LM are specifically designed to enhance the lubrication conditions of each element within the sealing system. Revolutionary lubrication management technology ensures friction and wear are optimized to radically increase application lifetime and reliability. On the piston, seals like Glide Ring D offer unique performance by inhibiting fluid from flowing across internal components, while also providing extrusion resistance and low friction. Multiple wearing materials such as Orcot for high loads, HiMod for increased durability, and Turkite for low friction are used depending on load and system requirements. And we supply more than just the product. Service Plus offers support such as kitting, intelligent stocking options, and assembly of components. 
Add to that apps and online tools, as well as more than 60 years of experience in sealing technology, and you have the ultimate partner that supports you throughout the entire value chain, from engineering to manufacturing to logistics and aftermarket. Find more information about Fluid Power on our website. For hydraulic applications where there could be variations in pressure, the Zircon Buffer Seal has been specially engineered to protect your system from pressure peaks. The benefits of the seal are radial channels for back pumping, an optimum solution, long service life, and proven performance under high pressure. Used as a heavy-duty rod seal, Zircon Buffer Seal is ideal for earth-moving equipment, the rugged and robust working environments of agricultural machinery, on the hydraulics within this boom, or lift extension cylinder. Typical applications for a Zircon Buffer Seal are the hydraulic cylinders that control the loader buckets on tractors. Within the cylinder, there is a rod that works with heavy loads and at high pressure. It needs to be sealed to maximize its leak-free potential. Here is a recommended seating configuration, including Zircon Buffer Seal. Zircon Buffer Seal has a highly flexible static lip. A dynamic lip designed to work at high pressure. Radial slots avoid risk of blow-by, while radial channels facilitate back pumping and relieve pressure. There's an anti-extrusion ring in POM. The rest of the seal is Turcon or Zircon. To maximize performance, hydraulic cylinder sealing configurations are complex. The Zircon buffer seal is installed as part of a total sealing system. Here, it is used in tandem with Zircon U-Cup RU9, an arrangement that will prevent leaks even when there are pressure peaks. So if you're looking for a heavy-duty rod seal for your mobile or industrial hydraulic cylinder sealing needs, then Zircon Buffer Seal may be the answer. Let the experts at your local Trelleborg Sealing Solutions marketing company help you design your total sealing system to maximize sealing life minimizing maintenance and downtime after watching these videos uh, we'll come back to the last leg of this lecture that is the outcome right so the outcome of this lecture is after the end of the course the student will be able to understand different methods available for preventing hand leakages second Describe different types of seal available for hydraulic and pneumatic systems. Third, highlight various sealing materials available. Right. So, with this, we have explored all the typical seal sealing methods employed, sealing materials available, sealing materials extend uh, sealing. Uh, uh, latest sealing materials as a function of high temperature in different applications. So, with this you can uh, select a correct sealing method, correct sealing material and design your own hydraulic and pneumatic systems.